Now, as a student, I've had some, some comments. I could go back to my essay and check it out. Now, th this folder was made by Google Classroom called Classroom. And the students are going to have their own folders outside of this. So uh, what I can do, so anyway, let me open it up. So what the student can do is they still can move this folder. And, and the connection between the teacher is still there. So I can uh, move this out. I don't have any place to put it. I could just put it in drive and say move. And it doesn't matter. I still have the comments. I guess I still have the turn in. The teacher still has access to, to view it, to make comments on it. But let's say, okay, I've got these comments. Here's what they look like. I have one comment, comment and suggestions. So in editing, there are suggestions. And then there's also comments. You can you click here. Uh, nice topic sentence. I can click resolve if I don't want to see that anymore. And now the teacher said I should say am instead of is, so I can either accept it by clicking the check mark or reject it by clicking the X. I'm going to accept it. And uh, same here, and this is what it looks like if I reject class spelled with a C instead of a K. It'll just stay with a K. Um, and so now when I'm ready uh, and I'm all done with my essay, I click turn in. I have to be all done. You have to really emphasize about that with the kids, and here's why. When I click turn in, um, it goes here. I get a second chance here. When you turn in this assignment, you'll lose the ability to edit the, these files. I can't edit it anymore. You can unsubmit the assignment to edit, so it, it's not going to be turned in anymore. So. So I turn it in. So that way, as the teacher, unlike with some of the other tools I use, like Google Forms or Moodle, um, I would have them turn it in so I could edit along the way. But I wouldn't know when they're officially done without having them give me some kind of code. So I've submitted it. And here's that unsubmit link. If I said, oh, I wanted to make some changes, I can unsubmit it. But then it's not turned into the teacher. So this helps you kind of keep the kids on the due date. Now I'm back logged in as a teacher in my drive and I also have a classroom folder um, and that assignment is still uh, st is still in the same folder. If you remember I moved that other student's folder um, but it's still here and I'd have a whole list of those documents even though the students moved them in their drive somewhere else. I still have them where I assigned them. So I still have it in this folder and I might leave it there. I'll also have shared with me, I'll have all of my student folders here as well. But if I want to quickly like review and get access to those papers again, I'll know right where to go. In addition, I can go to Google Classroom in the application launcher as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I do next here. So I'm going to go to my core one and I have my assignments here. I'm going to go to my persuasive essay and I should have one done. Now, this one says done, and I can give him a grade. Ninety-five out of hundred, or I don't have to give him a grade. Um, what I can do now is he can't edit it anymore, but I could give him you know ninety-five out of hundred, or I could not give him a grade. Um, maybe have another file open with my power grade teacher book, and I could click return. Once I click return, the student can edit it once more. And I'll still see it here, and I'll still be able to see what he did again. And then he can turn it in again. It's sort of a long, kind of ongoing thing. So really convenient, really happy with this. So um, there's kind of, in a nutshell, uh, Google Classroom.